yes, that is true. But so what? Truth be told, there is no way that Masty Mask could could have known about this pattern. What do you mean? This pink spotted pattern on the on the urn is actually nothing more than paint stains. Paint stains? And these paint stain that and these stains did not appear until after the urn has been taken to Lordy Lordy Taylor. I'm not finding this joke very funny, Mr. Trite. The day that the sacred urn was taken to the warehouse, the urn was broken due to a human error, or should I say, an error-prone human. And that's when the pink paint got onto the urn. Ugh, you can't be serious. And yet, this calling card clearly mentions the paint pattern. Which means, Detective Atme has been has seen this urn long before the crime ever took place. In fact, he saw it when this fake photo was taken. <laughs> and because this photo is fake, your alibi for the night of the murder is no longer holds water. <laughs> And there's me in the reflection. Witness, do you have anything to say for yourself? <coughs> Alright, that did it. He's broken. Um, Nick, I think it's still too early for a victory pose. Huh? Ha. Huh. It's so sad. No one has... No one has any conviction these days. Conviction, you say? Yesterday, we all decided unanimously that this man is, was masked in mask, and now we're calling him a murderer. You don't think we're being a tad fickle? That's a good point. Uh, no way, don't fall for that too, Your Honor. You say that L Luke at me was the one who killed Cain Bullard? Then let me ask you this. Why would he do that? <laughs> An excellent point. Mm. Motive, motive, Mr. Wright. Motive. Why would my merry murderous motive... M Hang on, that don't make sense. <laughs> Might you... Why? Might you, my merry, murderous motive manifest? Nick, he's getting his second wind. If he's prepared an alibi and... If he prepared an alibi and pinned this crime on one delight, as you say, he must have very strong motive for murder. The only, the only one with any motive we've seen is one delight. Isn't that right, detective? Indeed, according to my own research, the boy's motive is clear. Without a motive, it's nearly impossible to prove guilt in a murder case. Now then, maybe you can enlighten us to what the defendant's motives were. Thank you, Sir Oldtimer. They're doing everything they can to make Ron look suspicious. Despite our lack of hard information, this may be our only chance. I, look at me, had no points of contact with the victim whatsoever. Kane Bullard was decided to investigate Mask the Mask and simply mistook who he was. It was Mr. Bullard who wrote the blackmail letter and sent it to Ron the Lights. And it was again Mr. Ballard who harboured a grudge against Mr. Delight for his betrayal. Mr. Ballard mistake... Oh, hang on. Mr. Ballard's mistake is quite excusable. The defendant truly believes he's masked the mask. That is why Mr. Delight saw it, saw, saw it fit to kill Cain Ballard. Truly a tragedy. 
so the victim came bullard blackmailed the defendant this is the blackmail letter we found in the defendant's apartment oh i mean his flat <laughs> a handwriting test confirms that mr bullard was indeed the one who wrote the letter what Very well, Mr. Wright. Begin your cross-examination. Exactly. Exactly. 